How you doing guys and welcome back. Yep, you see water, so you know it's gonna be fun in the sun, but not on the boat. We're actually going to a new place, then you know me. I love exploring new places and this one should be interesting because it has to do with a lot of boats. But before we got there, we had to drive through downtown Fort Myers and find ourselves a parking spot that Yoel had to help with because you know kids, they know all the app stuff. And once we paid, we made our way to the main entrance mm -hmm. and so far so good. It's a little different than I'm used to seeing, but it's okay though. I guess it's one of those things, don't judge a book by its cover. How are you doing? Thank you. So it's pretty cool. It's hosted outside by a park combined with a marina. But right now we're going to take a look at these models here. It's big. And the day is perfect for this event because it's sunny and a little bit cool. Yeah. All right, so this is a 39 footer and check out the price guys. Check out the price. Since everybody was asking for the price, there's the price. So let's go check. And remember guys, like I said in the previous boat show videos, I don't go into the specs of the boat. I just show more or less what the practicality of the model that I'm viewing, like how well it will serve for family boating, like mine's or yours. Oh, this is, uh, I guess, ready for our customer. So you get picked your choices. And there we go, guys. This is like a baseline baseline. Yeah, I guess this is like somebody uh, could customize it however they want. And check it out. Let's check it out what you get for uh, almost 600000 What do you get? There you go. That's what you get. And now go home. <laughs> there you go, guys. You get a lot of sitting, though. Pretty cool. There you go. A big 39. And now we're going to take a look at another smaller contender. Like when you're on plane, you see? Yeah, but you know what? Sit down here. I want to see something. Sit down there. How are you supposed to drive with that right there? So high. That's weird. I mean, can you see? Of course. Yeah, but it's high. And remember, if you want to follow us on our daily activities and posts, you can always do that. Instagram or Facebook Fresco channel. How, was it, how is it in there? Check it out. Look at the door. So here you go, two beautiful center console contenders for those fishing guys that watch the channel. But we're gonna keep walking around because there's plenty to see here at the Fort Myers Boat Show. And how cool is this? We met a couple that we met before at Hallover and now they're here enjoying the show. Oh, how you doing, man? Hello, oh, nice. Are you guys talking about friend? <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you're a boat lover like us, the boat shows are the best place to come and see the new models. Since you guys asked me for the little boats, I'm gonna give you guys more of the little boats. Let's check out this 27. And there you go, if you guys wanna see the price. 
right there and you're gonna notice there's no motors on the boat well according to the sales guy he said as soon as you place your order on this model they'll go ahead and rig the motors on so don't get scared that price is including the motors so we're gonna hop on and take a look inside oh it looks pretty cool oh i like that sink i like the light bait All right, so we got a uh, 27, pretty nice, big Simrad. Oh, how, how is it? How is it? How is? Oh, look at that, guys! Look at that. Well, check this out. What is this in here? This is unique. Oh, I like the front thing. It's kind of like pretty neat. Oh, it has a windlass. Oh, this is like a all the way around boat. Can I show you guys some stuff? Sure, sure. Can I record you? Sure, I don't care. Okay. Gonna be a star. Doesn't break the camera, we're good. <laughs> nice. So a lot of boats, they have the plug-in backrests for the seating up front yeah. here. So you can see we built in these bulkheads with storage inside on, on, on both port and starboard. So this is called an HFC, Hybrid Fish Cruise. So the front of the boat is all cruise. You know, you got a table that plugs in there, but the back of the boat is all fish. Yeah, I like that light bait well on the back. It's nice in the little sink. 25 gallon bait well. Oh, a little better. Somebody pointed out to me, this is the hot tub on board since it's so big. <laughs> or a nice cooler when you're out and you're not fishing, but you're just messing around. You can put ice in it, but you got to turn the valve off. Otherwise, Oh, water goes in? Yep. Ah, got you. I like it because it has everything for everyone. Yep, thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, this boat is pretty equipped, I think, for its size and family friendly. And how cool is this? We met a family that moved to Cape Coral. Evita, look, you didn't want to come today. She wanted to meet you. Oh, she didn't want to meet you. I'm your biggest friend. <laughs> Rick. Rick. Okay, yeah. Rick from oh, Cape Coral. Cape Coral. We just Actually, moved you from Jersey. Yeah, from Jersey. I get blamed for that too again. Because you guys <laughs> okay. been moved. Now that was amazing meeting Rick and his wife and he also has three kids and they came down from New Jersey to move to Cape Coral and my channel kind of influenced their decision and I'm glad it was a positive one. And now they're having fun in the sun on the west coast and hopefully we'll catch them out in the water soon. And now we're going to keep walking around here at the Fort Myers boat show because there's plenty of boats and accessories to see and definitely want to say hi to all the fans that said hello but they didn't want to be on camera how you doing man good how are you good, good. good. my wife hey how you guys doing yeah, but there's always a few brave ones that come out on camera some talk a little bit some talk a lot and some just wave hi and say we don't want to bother you but remember you guys never do because it's always a great pleasure to meet everybody in person and now we're gonna meet this 28 foot sportsman with twin 200 yamahas and twin side entrance doors Ooh, i like this that is super cool i like that you know what i think would be really cool speak to the builder or a boat dealer and take out one of these models out in the water like a sea trial but with the whole family and see how really functional and practical each model is for family boating i think it'll be a really cool episode and a lot of people will learn from it if they're in the market for a new boat or to change their existing one the only thing is i think it might be a lot of work for us but maybe once a month won't be that bad i don't know i guess i gotta think about it before i commit myself Here we have another 28 foot sportsman that we're gonna take a look at. And one really cool feature that attracted me to this boat is the way the hardtop is designed. Right above the helm, you have enough room for more electronics and it's very accessible and user friendly.
Now this boat is pretty cool, loving the color scheme and the way the dash is designed you barely see any buttons. And we're gonna go ahead and jump to the next boat really quick that was right next door. It's a 29 foot Everglades with twin 200 Yamaha with a very light gray hull and loving the interior's color scheme with black white and great with a new interior design layout and too bad i couldn't find the sticker with the price on it but if i'm gonna take a guess it's gonna be between 250 up to 300 thousand. and once again loving how they're using the tool gps's one for navigating and the other one for the engine's information center and also liking that the grab handles are part of coated black and you can't forget a boater's best friend out in the water when you're by yourself and you have to anchor yes a windlass and just the other day i had to replace mine and it was pretty easy so i think if you are handy with your hands and you want to put a windlass on your boat as long as you know how to run wires and cut a few holes i think it's pretty doable yourself All right guys, so enough of the little boats. Let's go check out a really big one. That's right next door too. And this is a 41 foot Solis. Whoa, this is a manufacturer that I haven't seen before. Neither on the boat show or on the water. But color, size, horsepower, quad 400 throttles and design definitely caught my eye. So I had to go investigate. And even though this model is equipped with a tuna tower, it's retractable. So this boat could be trailable if you wanted to. And we got lucky because one of the factory representative was there on the boat. He gave us complete specs and details on the boat and all options available. And you can see that this boat speaks for itself with its design, styling and comfort. And the most amazing part about this big 41 footer with Tuna Tower, it cruises at 40 miles an hour with its top end speed in the high 60s. Now that's amazing. Well, let's go check out the head and look at this it has a rain shower and a huge window i guess this can help you if you're scared to be in small places because it makes the head feel a little bigger And if you haven't noticed by now, this boat is definitely a sandbar party boat because it has speakers everywhere and it has lots of hanging out area to accommodate lots of family and friends. Well definitely this boat caught my eye, just the price was a little high. But you know what, we're gonna keep walking around and see what else we can get into and find. Because this is the first time for us here at the Fort Myers Boat Show, so we really don't know what we're gonna find or expect, but definitely. There's plenty of boats here to look at. Oh, do it.
Well, what I try to do when I come to the boat show and make a video is I try to look at different models and different manufacturers. But one brand that I normally look at is Worldcraft because back in the 80s and 90s, there used to be a legend down in South Florida with their 26 and their 302 Scarab center console and their infamous speed hauls with the closed decks. That I'm pretty sure you guys seen plenty of it on TV from the hit show Miami Vice with their 38 foot closed deck Scarab. And I think in my opinion that their new models are so different from the old design that it killed the brand. But I always like to see the new models just in case they might go back and get closer to their classic style what made them unique. But I guess if you look at all the manufacturers, every center console has a similar design. Only a few stand alone with their features and special options, and definitely their price. And definitely, this bow show has something different from every other bow show. You have to follow a trail or a route to go see all the other boats. It's like you're walking through a path at a park, and it led us by the pontoons. And I was hoping to see the big fast ones with a big horsepower but i wasn't sure if this is the right booth or they're even here because the ones we found were family recreational ones so we really didn't board any of them but we found this that caught our eye another cat a 26 footer with twin 300 horsepower mercury and if you guys already saw my for lauderdale boat show videos you guys notice we've been looking at cats and the thing is this cats go really fast and they're really stable and fuel efficient and their draft is very little because you already know that on the west coast there's plenty of shallow areas but the only drawback is you have to get a real big one to get a lot of amenities on board especially ahead in the center console due to the tunnel hall but if you like speed and going places really fast this will get you there quick but i'm gonna take a look anyway and here we have a similar color scheme black gray and white and this reminds me of my old carrera because when i redid the interior i did it black gray and white Also loving the color combination, gray, black, and white, and definitely the big power. I'm pretty sure this cat goes pretty fast. But we're gonna jump off and keep walking. And while we're walking to the next location or destination or boat, I'm gonna answer a question that a few people ask about a few bad comments that people leave. Why do I leave them up? And the question is this, they really don't bother me anymore, but in the beginning they did. But after years go by, you learn that those people they just go around YouTube watching videos and then I really subscribe to any channel but they love leaving negative comments and that leads me to think that they're not really happy with their own life so to make them happy I leave the comment running but the really bad ones YouTube holds them back for me anyway and we made it to the convention center I think I don't really know what this place is but here we have all the marine accessories, products and services. But we're not going to stop by any booth, we're going to keep going right through and keep looking at the boats outside. And while we were making our way through the crowd, a fan came up and said hi. And he started talking to us. And the first thing he said was, he's been a fan since we had 65,000 subscribers. And he was amazed how much our channel have grown. And also how big my kids were. He says he feels like part of the family because he hasn't missed any videos from the birthday parties for the kids and that special Valentine's that I bought her guitar, her car. And he said he loves boating too, but his favorite videos are the holiday ones, how we go to Thanksgiving dinners and Christmas dinners because he feels like he's right there next to us eating. And he said he used to do the same things with his kids, but they got married and moved away out of state. So he says that's why I hang out with your families through the videos 
on the holidays. And to me, this is a very heart touching story. That's why I had to share it with you guys. Too bad he didn't want to be on camera, but he gave me his name. So Jeff, if you're watching this, thank you so much for letting me know how the videos help you get through the holidays. And now they mean even more to me. And definitely, you can always be part of our YouTube family and keep celebrating together. And it's amazing how people watch the channel for so many different reasons. Some are for the parties and the girls and the cool boats and others are for friendship and family environment and a few for just escaping everyday life and taking a short trip to South Florida and enjoying a day out in the water. Well, so far so good. What do you guys think about the Fort Myers Boat Show? It's my first time here and I think I'll be back next time. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a little bit bigger because it has some areas that was under construction, but they have enough boats and plenty of things to do to keep the people entertained. But don't go away because the show doesn't stop. Do you know why? You guys already saw my dream boat in my other Fort Lauderdale video, but here I found my number two dream boat and you guys are gonna see it. This is it right here. Here you go. Here you go, Gabby, Joel, and Franco. Right here, perfect. But it's not going to be on this video. It's going to be on part two. And we also saw a real cool fountain and a super spacious Grady White and an all new redesigned Formula 34 foot PC. And we also got to meet more fans in person. But all that and more is coming up tomorrow. So stay tuned.